This is for measuring the uh, where the glands are going to go on the lugs. So there we go. I know that that's been marked right at the end of that little M. Exhaust cutter, which is probably what it was designed for, cutting tubes, not ringing cables, but you know, who's, who are we to say what's what? Oh, that's all over the bloody place. There we go. Right, that's that done. I've got the raw lugs in. What I'm going to do, put that inside the lug, look. Right? And then let it sit. And then you can sort of centralise it and get it where it needs to be. Now that, if you look, that's not going to be enough. Because that lip goes back to about there. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. But what I can do is I can mark it, because that's... It needs, really needs to go like that. Good grief. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to be good. So what I'm going to have to do is go through and mark each one where it needs to be, through the one, two, three, four, and then all I'm going to do is transfer them across. So that's not a bother, that's not a bother doing that, but... That's just a neat little trick, that. Rather than trying to do it with a tape measure or measuring a grid or anything like that, it just it actually gives you a visual representation of what's going to go on when the cable goes in. Um, and I've always done it like that, and it's, it's never failed me yet. This might be the first time. <laughs> anyway, that's a little tip.